Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and today I'm having a little break. I'm going camping. But you know what says camping? A canned wine showdown. Specifically, a canned rosé showdown. Stay tuned. Alright, before we get started on the, the actual like wine review, um, and the showdown part of it, I wanted to show you something. So a long time ago I cut this Journey Reusable Wine Flask. Well, I lost the top for it, so I haven't been able to use it for a while. However, I found out that if you get a screw top Haley's corker, it fits. And then now, not only do you have a lid for it that's easy to open and close, you can pop the top and actually aerate a tiny bit as you're pouring out. And it also has a little filter inside and it has a spout that prevents you from spilling as much because the last time I used this, I soaked my pants in wine and uh, it wasn't in the way that I typically like doing it. So. I, I, if I actually recommend you getting the Haley's corker and then the flask. It's a few extra bucks, but you can reuse that corker and other things, and that will actually kind of keep you a little bit more sane and dry when you're using that. But enough with that little trick I found. Let's get into the actual rosé showdown. All right, so I was thinking, since I was out here, why not do a canned rosé showdown? So today we're going to be reviewing Underwood, Ava Grace, and crafters union. So let's go ahead and get started. So pouring the crafters union. I can't do the color, so I'm just gonna go from the nose. It it is semi-floral, has a lot of apple, a little bit of strawberry, like sour strawberry and peach, according to the smell, so the taste. Let's see the part about Medium plus acid. Hmm. Medium plus acid. And that strawberry is really nice, but the apple, it's like a red apple and a and that kind of slightly sour strawberry. They play really nicely together. Um it's been a long time since I've had this, I forgot how good it was. That was the Crafters Union. Now, the Ava Grace. Now, well, I'm, I'm definitely getting a lot of apple and pear on this one. Uh, still not too many floral notes, but it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, this, this really, I'm just getting a lot of apple and pear. So let's, let's go straight into it. This one is also good. This is gonna be a hard challenge. So this one um, is higher in the acid but it's more sour. So if you're into sour rosés, this is definitely the case that that uh, it's like a sour apple, like a sour red apple, which I didn't know existed. And it could just be because I'm drinking out of these quality things. I, it's, I mean, I would give that one a good too. Uh, this is gonna be tough. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to see how it goes with uh, the Underwood wine rosé thing. Yeah, next. All right, so the Underwood Rosé. Um, it's been, I don't know if I've had this one, or if I have, it's been so long, I can't even remember ever doing this one. It has like no nose. <laughs> if I had to say anything, it smells exactly like the Ava Grace. I, I'm, I'm not getting, I'm not getting anything, and I cleaned this thing out before I put it in. That's a little bit disappointing. Um, let's just get, get to the taste, I'm, it's like a neutral nose. So on the on this one, I'm, I'm getting a little bit more of the alcohol, but I'm not really getting much more difference than the Ava Grace. It, it's, it's still a very like red apple, slightly sour pear, um, maybe, maybe it's a tiny bit more floral. Nah, I mean, it's, it's I mean, they're almost all identical. I mean, they really almost are all are identical, um, which makes me wonder. Okay, straight back to back. 
The loser here is Crafters Union. Um, it, it's a little bit more pungent. It's a little bit bitter. The Ava Grace and Underwood taste exactly the same thing to me. They do. Um, so if you're gonna be drinking straight from the can, I do one of those. If you're drinking it from a glass or like camping mugs, all three of them are gonna be fine. It just depends on if you want something a little bit more sour or slightly more floral or a little bit less citrusy and more kind of like apple -y and pear -y. And those are, I'm gonna make those legitimate terms on this channel now. So that's that's my review. All right, so now uh, let's take a see, look and see what happens whenever I try all three of them. So here's a little bit of the Crafters Union. Actually, let me do this. Let me, uh, it won't matter if I clean out this one. Got some Crafters Union. I got some Avagrays. Then I've got some Underwood. I'm gonna mix them all together. Without spilling it on myself. And cheers. That is a damn tasty rose. So my recommendation for the canned wine showdown, uh, it would be buy all three and combine them. That would be my ultimate thing. Uh, if I had to choose only one, I'm probably gonna go with the Ava Grace. It's about a dollar cheaper than the Underwood. So I, I, that's probably the one I would go with if I was drinking straight from the can. Now, if I was going to be drinking from a glass, like pouring it into a mug or something like that, it'd be a toss up between the Crafters Union and the Ava Grace, only because like I said, the Underwood's a dollar more expensive per can than all the other ones, and it gives you the same amount. Underwood, if you ever watch this video, maybe shave a buck off the MSRP, because uh, the other, that, like that off of Grace is pretty much on par, and it's a dollar cheaper. So, I mean, maybe think about it. That's my consumer advice for you.